What is this quotas on Windows Server 2003 environment? By tech.ptechrise.com First, let's see what's the use of this quotas. Track and control disk space usage for NPFS volumes, allowing administrators to control the amount of data that each user can store on a specific NPFS volume. By using disk quotas, you can configure Microsoft Windows Server 2003 to do the following. Log an event when a user exceeds a specified disk space warning level. The warning level specifies the point at which a user is nearing the quota limit. Prevent further use of disk space or log an event when a user exceeds a specified disk space limit. Disk quotas are not available for fat volumes. Now let's configure disk quotas on Windows Server 2003. First log on with the administrative rights on the server. Go to my computer, select a drive in which you want to create a disk quota. Remember, the disk quota can only be created on NTFS partition. Let's check which drive have a NTFS partition. Yes, this drive has a NTFS partition. As you can see, there is a disk quota tab is available. Let's see in the E drive. This is a fat partition. That's why the disk quota tab is not available on this part. Now let's go back to the F drive and properties. Click on disk quota tab. Click enable disk quota management. The second option is deny disk quota disk quota to a user exceeding quota limit. As this is an example, I click on this. Although it is not recommended by Microsoft to click on this deny you deny a user this quota. Now let's give a limit. This is an example. So I'm giving I already given let's give 30 KB this quota space and the set the volume 20 KB click on the log on event so that the log on the event will be logged when user reaches his limit now click apply and ok remember the disk quota will be only apply on the network shares network resources on the server because user will only able to access the server resources resources folders there are three folders uh, folder in F drive now let's go to the client machine and log on with the user ID on the client machine type the username Put the password. Now on the client machine, let's let's access the network network resource. To access the network resource, there are many ways to. We will access the network resource from the start. Run. We'll type the server name. Put double slash. Type the server name. And press enter. Now you can see all the network share which is on the net uh, server are showing. Now remember the network disk quotas uh, uh, depend on who created the file. So the if the user creates a file in two three four network drives. That disk that file will be go to the user disk quota. Now let's create a file and let's see what happens.
now let's save this file this is 1kb now let's copy this file and paste it again we have given about 30 kb now let's see as you can see the error is came it says there is no enough space delete one or more files to get the space and try again let's delete some file and create again as you can see the disk quota is working correctly as you can see the same error again there is no enough space so this quota is working and so now you know how this quota works thank you for watching this video tutorial keep watching our video tutorial which will be very informative for you thank you